Hey guys, coming at you today with my final thoughts on this hair from Candy Hair Company. This is the Filipino Natural Straight Raw Virgin Hair. And I have had this hair in for over four weeks. So I have a pretty good opinion and experience on the hair. Okay, first off I'm going to say that this hair has been very, very low maintenance. I haven't had to do anything much of anything with this hair which is what I look for when I'm wearing weave I am I, I don't like to do a whole lot with hair y'all regardless of what you may think hold on one. okay guys as I was saying I, I don't like to do a lot with my weave that is the purpose of me wearing a hair weave is so that I can get up and go some days because I don't have a lot of time between the hair and the makeup and the outfit and then yeah. so you know if my hair is quick and easy then that's more time for me to do my makeup, which is more time for me to change my clothes 50 times. Because <laughs> sometimes, you ladies know, sometimes it might take a sister about two, three outfits before she figure out what she want to put on. So I need a little extra time in the mornings. So if my hair is easy, breezy, get up and go, then I got a little time to make some decisions, okay? So anyway, the hair is very low maintenance. I don't have to do a whole lot with it. Um... I don't even use any products in the hair. The only thing that I do to the hair is wash it. Wash it and condition it. I do that probably once a week, um, depending on how my week's going. But, you know, probably once a week I try to wash my hair. And I've been washing it with the Moroccan Argan Oil by Organics Shampoo and Conditioner. So this is what I've been using. Now when I do decide to put some heat on the hair, I just kind of spritz it a little bit with the Silk Elements heat protecting spray. And this is the olive oil kind. So I, I just missed the hair a little bit with this. Now one thing that I do want to tell you ladies. I have what I have to do. Or at least what I have to do. Every probably every four days. And that's because you know I'm, I'm going to tell the truth. I don't tie my hair up the way that I should tie my hair up. Now maybe if I tie my hair up the way I should, I, mean, I wouldn't have to do it every four days, but it is what it is. So every four days what I've been doing for my closure is I've been having to use the um, got to be ultra glue styling gel. As I was saying, what I do with my closure is, because if I was tying it down, maybe I wouldn't have to do it, but I got to do it. Every probably like I said every four days what I do is I'll take a little bit of this got to be glued ultra styling gel and I'll take just a little put a little tad bit right here where the closure um, meets my natural part I will put a little bit of that styling gel there and I will take my closure and press it down onto the gel but I wait till the gel is just about dry because if you put too much gel right here and you put it put too much pressure on it while you have that gel that's not dry it's going to gel your hair down so you know just kind of be mindful of that but i'll take a little bit of that and put it here and just you know press put a little pressure there and then i put a scarf on it and tie it down and voila i got a natural looking part now the way that i do have my closure installed with you guys saw on a previous video of how I, how I installed my closure because of the bands and the tension that I have because I have my I have like three elastic bands attached to my closure which are sewn down to my uh, braid base okay so because I had a tension on the sides here uh, it helps to keep it nice and taut and flat but I just put a little bit of glue of, of, of the style I'm not glue well got to be glue I put a little bit of that right here just to get it extra flat you know what I'm saying you don't want it to look as natural as possible so I will do just you know put a little bit right there and that keeps it nice and flat one thing I do want to tell you ladies just a quick tip on what I've, I've learned about the closure what I experienced is luckily I I sold down the sides of my closure which are nice and taut because of the bands but this part of my closure which you know the back when I um, installed it I didn't I didn't secure it to the point where it was extremely tight as far as like the stitching I stitched it down so that it could be down but I didn't use a lot of tension up in here 
And I'm glad I didn't because if you use too much tension here, ladies, it's going to pull your clothes, your, you know, because you want your clothes to be real flat uh, and close to your natural part. But if you put too much tension back here, it's going to pull it back, okay? So it's going to keep shifting, you know, or lifting right here. So I don't have a lot of tension here on my closure. So I would advise you ladies, if you are doing self-installs, don't stitch too tightly up here. Just stitch it enough to lay it down, okay? Because you're going to find yourself having your closure lifting a lot, which is going to do that anyway over time, but, you know, it's going to make it worse if you do that. All right, so back to what I was saying about the hair. Now, as I told you guys, I have the 14-inch closure, 2 16 inches, and 18-inch uh, of the hair installed. The hair has been doing awesome, very low maintenance. Shedding has been very, very low. Uh, I did get some initial shedding from the beginning, which was due to the wefting process. Wash it a few times. No problems whatsoever. Tangling. I haven't been getting into tangling. Now, what I did experience, though, was when I first got the hair, it was snagging a little bit. Not tangling, but snagging, which is a Filipino trait. I mean, I have seen this before in Filipino hair. But what I have noticed, though, is after the washing... I don't, I don't get the snags no more. No more snags. Snag and gone. So I don't get the snags anymore. Thank goodness. And I know that has to do with washing it. And this hair responds really good to this. So I don't have any tangles. I don't, I, I don't have any snags anymore, ladies. None at all. Now the hair holds an awesome curl. Holds an awesome curl. So that's one thing I love so much about Filipino hair is that it holds a curl and it holds a bouncy curl. So if you want swinging hair, you want to be swinging, you know, you're going to be swinging with the Filipino. I mean, and it's it's a thickly strand hair, so it's nice and full. You know, it gives you that nice, full look. So overall, guys, I have to say, I really am enjoying this hair. And if you guys are interested, you know, take a look um, over there at Candy Hair Company and see... You know, see what she has to offer as far as pricing. Her prices are very reasonable. I, I checked that out. Prices are reasonable. Shipping is pretty pretty reasonable on time. I mean, pretty fast shipping considering it's coming from Canada. I live here in the, in the States. I got my hair, I think, in four days maybe. Yeah, like four days. So anyway, guys, hope you're doing well. These are my final thoughts on this hair. My honest experience and opinion on this hair. And, um... You will be seeing it again. You will be seeing the remix. See y'all.